second round and just kind of took a chance on herself and, and took a shot at the very last second. And uh, it didn't pay off for her in terms of, you know, sh in being able to even score in that bout. But it did show that she could, if she put her mind to it, get some good offensive attacks going. Absolutely. You mentioned Hildebrand being able to control center, take Audrey to the zone. Sarah with a clear size advantage here. We'll see if she uses that again here in match two. I think Sarah's naturally able to angle her towards the zone. And a heavy snap from Hildebrand. Audrey is grounded here in this position, so if we go out of bounds, I don't think it'll be any points. Brad grounded is confirmed. Smart play there by Audrey not to pop up to her feet in the zone. She was on the world team last year. Brought home a U-20 world silver medal. Now attempting to make the senior world team. Third final X appearance, undefeated. 7-0 now with the win over Audrey in round one. And as we approach the halfway mark here in the first period, yep, somebody has to go on the clock. It will be Audrey Jimenez. Definitely makes sense that she got slapped into two front headlocks and, and then Attempted a two-on-one, and then Sarah went right back to that front headlock again. So there hasn't been a whole lot of controlling action on Audrey Jimenez's part, although she does look a little bit more active than she did in her earlier match. There's a shot from Audrey. Sarah catches her in front head. Hildebrand now going one direction, then the other, picking up the takedown. So she's going to get one point on the activity clock and two points on the takedown. Jimenez, kind of like you mentioned, being a little bit more patient here in match two, not forcing the shots. Yeah, I agree with you. It, they look like a little better attempts. I mean, she did actually get to the leg that time, and I think in the beginning rounds, she was not able to close that distance to Sarah's legs. I mean, she's longer than you think when you're out there competing against a wrestler that's long and lean like Sarah. You really got to get a good setup and a, and a good penetration to get to the legs. Heavy snaps and a nice shot by Hildebrand. Two more points here late in period number one. And that is how the first period will come to a close. Sarah Hildebrand, two takedowns and a shot clock point to make the score five to zero. Impressive stuff here from Hildebrand. Known for her single leg on the feet. And I don't think we've seen that single leg once in match one or two. She's really just using the snaps and allowing Audrey to shoot her, herself into the front headlock where she has scored most of her points. Yeah, Sarah's being really patient. She's staying in good position, keeping center, um, but really isn't having to do a whole lot of leg attack. She's able to capitalize on some some other things and she's been it's been working for her. She had a lot of go-behinds in the first round and she's sticking to what's been working and. I don't see why not. She's been able to score in every single position from that front headlock, whether it be shuck, head in the hole. There's another shuck attempt and successful. Same side, same shuck for Sarah Hildebrand. 
Hildebrand also known for her parterre offense, but hasn't been able to turn Jimenez, despite being on top quite a few times now. an ankle pick from Hildebrand. She hit that clean in match one, doing it again here in match two. So Hildebrand now just one point away from a tech fall with a minute 21 to go. It does appear that Audrey is really stubborn in parterre defense because typically Sarah is able to score a lot in parterre. Hildebrand going back to that shuck this time from the feet. Running Jimenez down, drops down to the leg. Jimenez holding on with that close shin wizard, but that'll do it. Sarah gives a nod, a smile to the crowd. Sarah Hildebrand is going back to the World Championships. She defeats Audrey Jimenez in two straight matches, eight to zero and 11 to zero. And to think Sarah Hildebrand almost quit wrestling after the last Olympics and uh, and is now standing here, still had more fire in the tank, still wanted to compete, and is now on another world team. Yeah, there's the shh, the patent Sarah Hildebrand. We also see um, that same shush from, from uh, Summer Hamza of Egypt. She does the same shush, mm -hmm. and I wonder if it means the same thing. Uh, I would guess so. I know for Hamza, it's, it's more like, don't talk, just work, just listen. You know, no running your mouth, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know what it means for Sarah. Do you know? Uh, well, I know her initials are SH. Ah, so she likes to. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. well, yep. It sounds like <laughs> a little WWE action. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Here's the, the counter offense for Hildebrandt that finished things out. A truly dominating performance from the champion. I'm excited to watch 